The British Museum is using archaeology and contemporary artwork to map 100,000 years of South African history. The exhibition starts in the prehistoric era and continues through the struggle against the appetite. An exhibition in London ranges from the earliest examples of human creativity to powerful anti-apartheid pieces and cutting-edge contemporary art. But the star of the show on South Africa is a three million year old stone. It's called the Mechapanskit pebble. It was shaped by water and found by an early ancestor of humans. So why the big interest in it, you might be wondering. So we believe that the stone was picked up and carried because of the way that it looked, because um, this Australopithecus africanus saw what looked like another face in that stone. And this is an example of early curiosity, a precursor to true art. But some people have called the pebble the uh, earliest piece of art of anywhere in the world because it's the earliest piece of found art. The exhibition, South Africa, the Art of a Nation, is the first time the pebble has ever been displayed for the public. But there's about 200 other objects to see at the British Museum as well. Among them, a golden rhino from the 13th century. This little guy was chosen to be the symbol of the Order of the Mapagumbwe, South Africa's highest honor, which was first presented to Nelson Mandela. Fast forward about eight centuries and there's this car painted by Esther Malungu, which combines tradition and history with contemporary art and politics. So it's safe to say that variety and diversity are the key characteristics when it comes to this exhibition. We wanted to do an exhibition about Africa and about art and South Africa really emerged as the location that both has the archaeology that demonstrates some of the earliest artistic thought and practice of anywhere in the world um, and also has one of the most vibrant contemporary art scenes of anywhere in Africa and increasingly being recognized by museums and galleries around the world. So we decided to link these two narrative points and tell a, a history of South Africa through artworks. Some of the exhibits have left their homeland for the first time so they can be showcased at the British Museum until February the 26th.